Welcome to the February edition of The Daisy Chain. And we have launched a brand new curriculum and timetable in our junior school. And I'm very excited to have Ms. Shawman along to tell us all about it. Uh, Ms. Shawman, tell me, what is Project Shine all about? Project Shine is a new initiative that we've launched. It's a whole new subject area. We've got so many new subjects. We've got drama, we've got choir, we've got STEM X, we've got food and nutrition. And the girl's gonna tell us a little bit about what's happening in each of those. Fantastic. Um, what is your favourite subject? Food and nutrition is a really fun, fun and interactive subject for all the students. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the new initiatives in this subject, Asha? The compost garden, the um, pizza oven. Now, I've got to stop you when I hear about this compost garden because I've heard you guys have actually produced more compost than we can use in our whole school. What makes a successful compost? What are you doing that's so, so right? Well, we've kind of set, we have more than one compost bin. We have mm -hmm. kind of three and we have more in each classroom. So we have one for each year level. What do you hope that you'll be able to do in the garden and in this subject across the year? We hope to like, we hope to improve the school. We hope to make the school mm. a little more organic when we do mm. cooking classes for like grade ones, preps and so forth like that. So you're really helping everyone out with it as well as helping the broader school. That's just perfect, Asha, yep. I love it. Holly, can you tell me about one of the new subjects you're studying this year? Um, well, my favourite one I've done so far is probably STEM X. And what do you do in STEM X? Um, so it's about coding and robots and making things. So last week, Holly, in your STEM X class, what did you do with Mr Bush? Um, well, we were experimenting with the Makey Makeys that we plugged into the com our computers with the USB port and we could attach like wires to them and things to make like metals that conduct electricity to make musical instruments and things. So some people connected the wires to the Makey Makey and then attached it to a like paper plate or some paper. I and mean, what happened? And then they, well they drew on it with um, pencil which is lead so it conducts electricity and when they tapped it, they connected lots of different wires when they tapped them, they made different sounds. Now, Heidi, you are new to the school this year, so I know everything is new to you, but you've also started studying drama and choir. Can you tell me a little bit about one of those? Well, in drama, we usually make up stories by ourselves and we just keep going and we have to say one word each. One word each, so you don't know where the story's going? No, not at all. What was one of the best ideas that you've come up with in drama? Well, First there was a frog, and then the frog jumped onto the baby, and then the baby screamed for mummy, and then we couldn't get any further because the class stopped. Because <laughs> then, then it all stopped, then it all stopped. Is drama ever scary to do? Do you have to be particularly brave to do drama? Mm, not really. Sometimes it's just really fun and relaxing. Miss Shawman, why is the new curriculum called Project Shine? Project Shine is all about experiencing different things, dabbling in different specialist subjects, ensuring that all of our children have a chance to do things that they may not have thought that they would like or have ever tried before. So it's about experience and really having a go at lots of different things. I like the analogy of the diamond too, because it's like your abilities and skills in all of these different things reflect onto all of the other areas of the course as well. Uh, I'm certainly going to enjoy watching where this new program takes all of our students this year. With many new offerings here at Turak, we also enjoy celebrating some favourite traditions. The Wilderness Shield is one of our special events on the calendar, where our Year 12 students challenge the Collegians in a whole range of different sporting events. And this year, the Collegians were victorious. The Senior School House Swimming is another favourite event and certainly the talent feeds into that Collegian team for the next year's Wilderness Shield. Pi were victorious on the day, certainly helped out by a few celebrity teachers as well. It was so exciting to see the whole community come together for our summer garden party. Students from right across the school pulled up a rug and celebrated with their families, enjoying the rides and festivities to mark the start of our 2019 year. Open day is this Saturday, so come and have a look at all that Turak College has to offer. We have also released a new strategic plan this year. If you would like to hear more about that, we have some parent information evenings called Thrive at Turak coming up in March. Look forward to seeing you there.